in the dark comedy blind spotting. Trish is ready to expand her business and is looking to get a loan from a bank. The only problem, well, it could be her pitch. Let me direct traffic for a hot second. Speak on it. So me and my young gazelles are the baddest, flyest, most exclusivest private dancers in the Bay. You gonna dig what I'm talking I about? I smell you and it's delicious, Ooh, girl. Oh boy, you don't even know, oh. okay? And I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. We've been dipping and dabbling in all aspects of the freak scene. But see, the problem is we don't hold nothing. So I don't look at the field and say, we gotta call a new play, right? So we stacked up the audience, built up the socials, and now we in a position to level up. Ooh, clipped it on them, that's big time. Oh, that is a first. Perfect pitch if you ask me and you heard the woman. She's ready to level up and so are we. Please join joining us this morning, our next guest, Miss Jalen Barron. Let me just tell you, I, I already told you how much I love that scene. Thank you, I appreciate it. The back and forth of it all, I don't know. Like if I could pitch that way, I would probably on a whole, be on a whole other level. So for that scene, for that scene, for that pitch, like how, how how long did it take you to do that? Because it was just smooth sailing to us. Okay, so it was definitely one of my audition scenes, <gasps> right? Yeah, so I had a lot of practice with it a couple months beforehand. And of course, when we start filming, they make some tweaks and adjustments. But luckily, I got a little bit used to it. And you know, when you put on the outfit, when you put on, you know, your you part and you're flipping your hair, you just, you get into that mode. But um, it... It took some time that day, I'm not gonna lie. I wanted to make sure it was perfect, so I kept asking them to go back and be like, can we redo it, can we redo it? And then after a little bit, my producer, uh, Rafael Casal, he was like, Jalen, it's fine, it's, yep. it's, it's, it's enough. And I'm like, okay, but I asked to go back like five different times because I just needed to make sure that it was the one. Oh, it was perfection to us. And if you ask me when it comes to Trish, I would say that she is like a box of chocolates you never know what you're gonna get, just like Forrest Gump says. So how would you describe her? Because the stuff she says, the way she is, her mannerisms and the way she delivers is just unbelievable on another level. You were asking how I, how would I describe Trish? Yeah, yes. Oh, well, well, I mean, you described her perfectly. Uh -huh. You really never know what you're gonna get. I mean, everything could be calm, you know, smooth sailing, but then she's the storm that just comes in and causes a ruckus. But that's what I love about her is that she adds some type of, um, unexpected to things you you don't know if she's going to be happy you don't know if she's going to be sad but trish is so loyal um and i don't know if you watched the first episode mm -hmm. or not but we see that and she has this you know conflict with ashley but no matter what she's still there for her sister yep. in law um, but yeah i mean trish is trish is everywhere but that's what we love we love a we love a gemini rising queen <laughs> but that's the thing but that's the thing I, i'm like she makes me want to be a young gazelle she makes me want to put like grill in my teeth because i don't know if i can pull it up as well as she does because she you really can. does and really oh, there you go see i like i have never wanted grill so badly in my entire life hey and we were look, talking about this earlier about you and we're like how you make it look amazing Oh, thank you. Grills are for every body, okay? Well, it doesn't matter. I, have a gap, I got a gap grill, you know, it just made, I should have put them on today, but I was like, it's the news, let's keep it. Oh, you know what? What I should, it's fine. I no, you um, have to come back with your grills on, please. It's the news, but I'm, well, I'm okay. not the news. I do entertainment, so we can do, we can grill it up. I'll get my grill. And, you know, we had a lovely company work with us called Zero Below Grills, uh -huh. and they do. They made this necklace for me. Like, they took care of everybody on set. They're amazing. All right, so we know this series is a continuation of the film Blind Spotting, which has to be Diggs, like, as one of the brains behind us. So talk to people about who haven't seen the first episode. It's on the Stars app now. You can check it out. Explain, because you mentioned Ashley, a relationship with her. She is in a relationship with your brother who goes to jail. So pick it up from there, because she has to move in with you guys. Right, so Blind Spotting the series is based off of the movie and it picks up six months after. So, as you said, um, Miles, he gets incarcerated, and this show just basically centers around a low income um, black and brown family that is just trying to navigate their way through this process. And uh, we're trying to show the world a personal story and maybe hopefully some people can relate to it and they feel seen and i mean it's just about how to get through that as a unit and you know how to raise a child and how to have a brother who's incarcerated and that's what really drew me to this script is being able to see you know my personal story that i've had happen to me mm -hmm. on tv okay so let me just tell you how the people who know you from your other projects 
it, this is just a true testament to your range. <laughs> because the people who saw you on Netflix as free reign are gonna be like, wait, what? It's co like a complete opposite. And well, if they've seen you in Shameless, then they know that you can you can like flip the switch just like that. So would you say that you are living your dream? This was was this something you've always wanted to do? Because some people all, sometimes know from the get go they want to act, or they just know they want to be on camera, or they start modeling and then it goes becomes something else. I mean, yeah, this is something that I've always wanted to do. I was, you know, in competitive dance in La Puente, California for years. And um, I started doing plays at my local theaters. And I just realized that I really, what I truly loved was performing. And I'd always watch girls on TV and be like, I can do that. Like, that's me. I can do that. I'm 10 different people in one day. <laughs> and so, <laughs> so when I, you know, got my auditions, I just worked hard. I had my lovely mother to be there for me and take me to my auditions and nothing but support from my family and her and I mean I just you know I'll just speed up to shameless I auditioned for shameless I booked it and I was like wait a minute I can really do this yes, like I'm, I'm doing this and so uh, then I booked free reign and that was beautiful that was such an amazing experience I got to be a lead on a Netflix show and show you know um, being a black equestrian so that was amazing and then I got blind spotting and I mean to me it's another job it's another character so it's only right that I play her as she is and I mean I'm a little bit of Trish on the inside just a smidge so I just had to you know exaggerate on that and I feel like I've always been Trish she just been hiding you know hiding behind Zoe from Free Rain and you know Zoe Zoe's amazing we I just, know we Zoe's don't... amazing Trish is amazing I want to have a lot of Trish in me because I just want to be slick and smooth like her Seriously. You seem a little trishy to me. Really? Stop. Yeah. I'll be true. But here's the thing, because I know I know you from like way, way, well, not way, way back then, but since you did Free Reign and stuff, and I know that oh. you're from a big family. You guys love to cook during oh, the yeah. holidays. I know it's a thing because you're, and plus the food is going to be amazing because you're half Mexican, half black. So mm -hmm. is what are you making for breakfast? Because I feel like I see a kitchen behind you. What are you eating for breakfast? Is it too early for breakfast where you are? Oh, sis, this is, uh, this is a backdrop from the stars show blind spotting that we said this this is actually rainy's kitchen so so you're not yeah. the, the, so, but what are you cooking in your real kitchen what am i cooking in my real kitchen um i am not cooking anything right now currently but what i will be making most yeah. likely is we got some um soy riso i love some soy riso with some potatoes you know a little Ay, me gusta just a little something light, you know how that goes. Oh, I do know, I do know. And I'll, maybe next time you stop by, we can make maybe make something, we can cook something. Oh, well, I mean, I'll go to New York, no come, problem. That's what I'm saying, when you come back, to, when you come into the studio, we will make something. We have Find a fake out. kitchen. Find we have a fake out. kitchen here that works, promise. See, uh, such a pleasure to meet you. Such a pleasure to meet you. You are a light, keep shining, and we're gonna keep watching you as Trish on Blind Spotting. Everyone, it's on Stars and the Stars app. And you're going to see the star shine bright, because that's all she does. I appreciate you so much, Queen. Thank you. Oh, she called me a queen, your highness. I appreciate you, too. <laughs> Love you. Mwah.